Brian here. Uh, day five of rescuing a 1973 Crown Supercoach. So I've got a couple things on the agenda today. Let me take you around and show you what's going on. Yesterday it fired up. Absolutely amazing. No smoke, no hassle. Only just had to remember to turn the ignition switch on. So one little problem right there. So there's a water pump in here. And I'm sorry, I can't reach around the camera to point to it. I've got to crawl up in here and get it out. It's frozen. No big deal. It's a $120 part. Maybe $180 if I go to Napa. Um, maybe less if I find an extra one. So i got to change that. I also got to change the belts. So I'm going to start with the belts. Um, and uh, I'm going to get the belts out of here. There's, there's two, four, six belts. So alternator power steering, you can see the cooling fan. You can't see the uh, water pump belt because it's up underneath here. And um, you know, I'm probably gonna come in from this side cause I can kind of squeeze in here. So anyway, um, I'm gonna start taking belts off and the power steering pump one has to come out first. So that's what we're gonna do. So anytime you're gonna remove uh, belts, you wanna loosen both, both sides. like it's a three quarter. Keyword there is loosen. These are really precise. I've just I'm sitting under the engine. This isn't really the way I would like to do this. this than what I'm doing because this is a really really slow way to adjust belt tension. rod tensioner it works like this one and I think that's what that was supposed to be so normally you back off one and normally it's it works like a, a screw not a pair of bolts and that's a field improvised one and I'm gonna change it I'll redesign it to work more like this That's normally how these work. And that's how that one's going to work when I'm done with it. All right. We 
Mobile. Shit. So we gotta figure out what size this was. There we go. Might as well get comfy down here because I'm coming down here again. to roll these on and off but it doesn't particularly matter because these are going away but this is a bad practice to do ordinarily I see spider webs, I assume there are spiders. There's two. Alright. The next thing that has to come out is the belt that drives the cooling fan. And this is probably going to be the hardest of them. Doing there. Uh, yep, yeah, I need another extension. Bear it back. doing is checking the fan bearings um, and they seem to be good. I am not trying to see how many gloves I can go through.
this is not a video about how many how many gloves you can go through in one project, but I'm trying to limit the spread of crap, and this seems to be the best way to do it. Alright, so I've got two of them out. Starting to wonder if my little shelf needs to come out. Wow, really? No, 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 not right now. <clears throat> but this hub has some weight to it, that's for sure. Alright. Encouragement. Encourager. and hope you guys can too because that's got to come out my way oh and that's got to come out too <sighs> fucking grand slam It's not coming out with that. So how do I do this? We will win. We will win. Because we love this bus. I'm going to be exceptionally angry if it turns out that that wasn't necessary. More. Yeah. All right, I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> And this is what was required. There's the other bolt. So now I gotta figure out how to get up in here and get this belt. Almost like the fan has to come out. God darn. and rock shield has to come out. Some of these little bolts out. I don't think this is going to be that big of a deal.
Definitely the right way to do this. <laughs> I am not Houdini, but I win. Oh, yeah, you're going to eat a shirt, aren't you? Yeah, I just tore a shirt. And I'm trying to take my pants off. Ah, lovely. take this unobtainium fan out of here and put it in the bus. Hey friends, so on the bright side, I can get to the water pump now. That bitch is frozen. All right, well, let me get my light. So this belt is shot, but this water pump is frozen. So those look like five eighths to me. Let me see if I can find So I brought along the 12 point because I think these will be much easier to work with in here. Fuck. I'm getting dripped on. All right, I'll come over here. I'm really, I have a feeling I'm about to get really wet. All right. I'm gonna start with the one that's hard to get to. So this turns into a shower. I'm not in the middle of it. This is smiling. I need a extension for what I suspect will be two more of these. God, if a spider lands on my face, I'm going to freak. Lunch today is going to consist of a cheeseburger and some Tylenol. Because I'm going to be sore. And I have a hunch that I'm not going to want to pay $180 for this water pump at Napa.
one sixth of it is out. That requires the services of the breaker bar. As I was afraid it might. So now that it's broke, probably can go back to a ratchet. In case you're wondering, I'm just resting at this point because my hands hurt. Um, for you, the, those of you who are new, I do have carpal tunnel. My hands hurt when I do work like this. Oh yeah, it's gonna get wet down here. All right, time for some new gloves without cobwebs. decided to go back to wearing safety glasses so that if crap drops from above it doesn't get in my face or my eyes. <clears throat> Spiders are protein, you know. So if it drops in my mouth, I'm gonna fucking eat it. Right? Probably sting me in the stomach. I hate spiders. The um, extension doesn't fit in the socket. <laughs> Stupid me.
I really don't think that this would be accessible with the belts in there. I think you have to pull all the belts. <sighs> Time for a rest with the hands. I am being very strategic about these bolts because this is going to turn into a shower. Probably about 15 gallons of coolant is coming out here. So it looks like everything else is loose. <clears throat> so there's a ring that holds this in with a copper gasket and the belt tension is achieved by rotating the pump. All right, so all those are out. Blanket. <clears throat> and this is a feeble attempt to keep dry. And I'm going to whack it. Yeah. 